Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures beta. Learn basic JavaScript by building a role-playing game. Step 104. All right. So now we're going to use the let keyword to create a variable named current weapon. And we're not going to assign it a value yet. Okay. So notice that we already have a current weapon variable elsewhere in the code. I'm sure we do. Let's go look for it. Uh, current weapon, current weapon, current weapon. Boom, right there. So let's come back down. And uh, where are we? Since we are using the let keyword instead of var, the new current weapon is scoped only to this if statement. So at the close of the if statement, the old current weapon will be used again. Okay. So since we're inside of an if statement, using let on a, uh, what is it, on a variable we already made, will make it just so it's, uh, uh, it's whatever we assign it inside of that if statement, right? So basically saying let current weapon like this, that's going to override what it is up here, but only inside of here. Once we're outside of this, it's going to be uh, it's going to be what it was up here again, right? Uh, and that and the, but the thing is, if we made it like a var inside of here, uh, it wouldn't do that because var is a global scope, right? So that's uh, basically how that works. So let's uh, check the code. Looks good, and submit it. All right. Now we're on to step one hundred five and. See you next time.